Hi guys, I'm Lisa and welcome back to the video. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a shirt, long sleeve or hoodie using paint.net. So first thing you want to do, type up on Google Chrome Edge or whatever thing you're using is paint space.net and just enter. Um, the space is very important because if you don't add that space um, between um, the paint and the dot, um, it will actually send you to a whole different website. So you don't want to click that. So um, when you do that, you just want to do this one over here, paint.net free getting software. And you want to do this one by www.getpaint.net. Make sure you do nothing else because just do this one. So you just want to click it and you want to click this link over here. And you, and you can choose to get it on Windows 10 or .pnd. When, when it says the price, when it actually says paid, um, I use Windows 10 and it actually doesn't like remove any pay um, from like Microsoft Store, so it's totally fine. When it's installed and when you install it, it should look something like this. And you want to go to image at the top, canvas size, and you want to choose the width. 585 and you want to choose the height 559 and press ok and now it should have this um so now if you don't have these tools you can just um, use use it by opening these so you can just click it and yeah so if you don't have these if three tools that you want is these this building tool this um like layer duplicate tool thing and this color tool so now you want to go on to google and just create another tab and you want to do Roblox shirt template and you just press images and I personally use this one but you can obviously use you know other ones but just recommend using like these types where these bits are transparent and to make your life easier just make sure when you do it looking for a template um it's something like um this it's like but I wouldn't recommend using this so uh, but I recommend using this one or this one but I use this one so you can just copy it and just paste it in so now we have our template so now over to the layers tab you just want to press this add a new layer icon and you want to drag layer 2 at the bottom of the background layer I'm going to go back onto here and instead of Roblox shirt you want to do Roblox shading because we are going to get a shading template but if you are making a short sleeve, I recommend not using the shading template because it looks a bit weird. Um, but you can choose if you want to. But uh, if you type up this and press images, I honestly recommend this one. And this is the one that I use for my shirts. Um, so you can just copy it and just paste it in. So now you can just drag this and just make sure that, you know, it's just the... The way that you want it so you just want to resize it and make sure that it looks good so let me just do that real quick okay so now once you have it and this is optional you follow this you can follow this part part is if you want a hoodie if you don't want a hoodie um i'll when i edit this i'll leave it i'll leave a timestamp where you can skip to if you don't want a hoodie um, so if you do want a hoodie, you can just add another layer and you can just keep it where it is. And press Ctrl V. So now it should just go back in the sizing automatically. So now if you zoom in, we have these words and we don't want those words. So um, you want to go over to your tools tab, like this one, and you want to go to this icon here. It's like a square, but it's called rectangle select. So you just want to click that and want to make sure that you're on this, on your hoodie layer. And when it say when it has a like a blue thing when you click it, you just want to click your background. And now you want to ho hover over your words and just hold it, drag it, and you can press Control X or delete. Um, but that just deletes it. And you want to do the exact same thing for all the words because we don't really want words on our template. So you can just hold, drag, Control X or delete. Pretty simple. Um, then there's also one over here. There you go. So now we have this. So now you want to go over 
um, to this icon so you just want to add a layer and you want to make sure that layer 4 is at the very bottom of everything so this is going to be our color layer and the reason why we want it at the bottom of everything is because um, our color layer is going to get um, our shading layer and a hoodie if you have the hoodie layer and our background so it's just all in one and it should be in this area so um, you can to color you can just use this tool over here this print brush tool which you can customize the color on this or you can use this grenade tool you can so if you do want this grenade tool if you don't know what it is i'll just show you so it's like this so it goes from one color to the other color so if you do want this grenade tool you can just hold it and just drag it across and yeah and um the blue is coming from your color palette over here the blue and the white is coming from this one but if you do want to switch the colors around like white being here blue is in there you can just press this um swap colors just click that then it'll just do it like that very cool then these also designings so basically um over here you can choose to get if you want a swirl see it comes in a swirl if you want let's say this one and then this one so yeah but i just recommend using this basic one that comes with it um so i'm just going to use this basic normal one and i'm just going to make it a hundred so it's kind of quicker um but you can obviously choose what color you want so once uh, you have your colors you just want to add a layer and this is if you want you know want accessories like um stuff on your hoodie or your shirt or your long sleeve or short sleeve so um so yeah you just want to add a layer and you can just keep it where it is just after this layer um i'm just gonna make this five i'm gonna go back here and instead of this line you can just do whatever you want so i'm just gonna do um the youtube logo and just press images and pick this one um actually i'll do this one so you just want to copy it actually i'm going to show you if it's not transparent i'm going to try and find non-transparent one this one so you just want to copy it go back here and just press ctrl v it does come up sometimes when you do insert a bigger image it comes up with this keep canvas size thing and you just want to choose keep canvas size um so when you have your image um, if you have a transparent one, it should just have nothing in the background. But if it's not transparent like this one, you want to click your image layer. You want to go over to your tools bar and click this wand, magic wand. And you just want to click it and just delete or control X. And it just deletes it, so it just makes it basically transparent. So I'm just going to resize this. And just put it over here. um like that it actually may be a bit bigger as you can see it like that and if you have stuff in your hoodie that you don't want um you can just want to press this erase at all this is what it does it just kind of erases stuff actually just use the erase at all i'm sorry and so if you don't want stuff on your hoodie like you don't want this you can just use the erase at all and it will just erase it so like that now we have that thing is gone so yeah that's basically actually how you do it so now that is gone i'm just going to resize it because you can't really see it there you go so now if you want text on it you can just add it add a layer use this see this t icon you can just click it and just let's just type hello and by the way i sometimes i make this mistake so when you do it it actually doesn't show up it's because sometimes you forget to change the colors over here so your text color your font color will be the color that you picked over here so i um i'm just actually just gonna remove the text and instead of um this the same color as that i'm going to change it to white you can obviously change it to any color you want i'm just going to write hello so now you can actually see the color so now I'm just actually just going to make um, it a bit bigger because it's a bit small. I'm just going to make it 26. Oops. Um, yeah. Just resize it. Um, where did this go? Right there. 
So sometimes, well, may, mo, meh, mainly, um, you see how it has like this gray in the background. That's because it's a part of your shading template. If you don't want that, you can just drag your text above it and above the hoodie one and this one. Oh my god, I got the wrong one. Okay, just drag it above. Yeah. So now you see it's gone. So yeah, um, now we are going to cut um, the short shape. So you want to go over to your color layer, go scroll down, and you want to use this rectangle select tool. And you just want to zoom in, zoom down, and you see this. So these are the hands, and we don't want blue hands, so you want to just hold it and drag it. And press Ctrl X or Delete, now it's gone. And you want to do the exact same thing for the shading template. Like that and now you want to go up here and you want to click this blue layer oops this blue layer and this is the neck hole so instead of rectangle select we're going to use ellipse select so you can press this circle icon make sure you don't press this one you want to press this one so you just want to hold it and drag it and sometimes I'll just show you it comes up like this um, you can to resize it you can just press this tool and just resize it like that um, and you can just press Control X or delete and um, I didn't do a very good job um, so in this it has blue so if you have the same problem that I do you can just use this eraser tool and just scale it down to like 5 or something and you can just erase it so it doesn't come up with that blue stuff on your neck so it looks a lot more cleaner there you go. So now once you're happy with your shirt, oh by the way, if you have a short sleeve, um, you can just click this fix tangle select. You can just do it about here on your color layer, do it and just delete it like that. And you can just remove the shading template as well. So basically what we did for the hands. So yeah, um once you have once you're happy with it, you can press file at the top. Um, and press save as and um, so um, save as type make sure um, it's a PNG and I'm um, just save it to somewhere where you know it is I'll just do it in here um, and I'm just gonna put it um, I'm just gonna name it blue hoodie YouTube and just press save. And once you're happy with it, you can press um, OK and press flatten. There you go. So now you ha actually have it. Um, if you, when you're noticing it, after you press flatten, like you're noticing some like stuff that you need to fix, you can just press Control Z on your keyboard and that just undo undoes it. So now you have, now you can see all this stuff. So yeah. So now um, you wanna go on to Roblox. So when you're on Roblox, you want to press this create over here. And it should bring you to this one over here. And um, if you want it to be um, a group merch, like um, like a merch that you want to sell on your group, you can press group creations. But if you want it to be for yourself, or if you want to actually to sell, you can press shirts. Um, and um, now it just says create a shirt. Um, we'll just actually just wait for it to load when it does want to load. Oh yeah, and also um, if you guys want to, you guys can also like suggest some stuff. Like if you guys want me to make um, a video on how to do pants, you can do that. So um, now it says create a shirt. So you want to say find your image, you just want to choose the file. And let's just put it in, let me just find it. Okay, you just wanna press open. So now you have it. Um, I'm not actually gonna upload it because now it does cost 10 Robux to upload it. And I'm not gonna do that. But if you guys are wanting to upload it, you can just upload it for 10 Robux. And also, um, if you wanna upload a Robux share, you don't have to have premium anymore. You just have to pay for the Robux. So when you do upload it, just give it some time to, um, so Roblox accepts it. You can just wait and come back 
like wait like I don't know like 10 minutes or 5 minutes or something and then she took something like this with your shirt icon there so I want to press the settings icon there and press configure and this is if you like want it to be on sale um then you can like obviously change the name if you want to redo the name and yeah and you want to press the site sales icon and item for sale you just want to click that on and you can choose the price um what it says here creator earnings will get 70 percent so if I put four, five Robux, I'll get three Robux. If I put 10, I'll get seven. Right there. So yeah, um, you will get seven. So if you do put it, you won't actually get the full amount of Robux. For example, if I want to put it on just five Robux, um, if someone buys it, um, it'll, I'll get three Robux. When someone does buy your shirt, um, it does take time for Robux to, for Roblox to put it in your account. So if you don't get the Robux straight away, um, when someone purchases a shirt, don't stress because you will get it like in the next um, five days or seven or maybe three. So yeah. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video once again, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.